Hey guys, it's me again, Shy Gemini, and I thought I would come and talk to you guys about Hustle and Soul. I actually recorded this video last night, but I was so tired. When I went back to look at it, I just, I look like a zombie. I'm learning that when I do reviews that not to do it when I'm sleepy, it's impossible. So I want to come in here and talk about Hustle and Soul. So the episode starts where I left off basically with Lawrence and Anna at the competition, the Iron Chef competition. Unfortunately, he lost. So <laughs> um, he lost the competition. He was bummed about that. But then up walks Dwayne Wade Sr., who is the father of Dwayne Wade Jr., who plays for Miami Heat. So and is a traitor and left Chicago and went back. <laughs> but anyway, um, so he walks up to him and he lets him know that he knows about him. And, you know, I think he said he's been to his restaurant before and he may either want to invest or he knows some people that want to invest in his uh, wanting to open a location in Miami. So that lifted um, Lawrence's and Anna's spirit. He's looking forward to hear from him. Um, they flip back and forth between Brooklyn and Miami. So we go to Brooklyn, Sana and Anna are gossiping at Sana's house. Candace comes over and she tells her about the fight and about what Cola said about them being in a three-way relationship. Um, Thandy, Anna, and Lawrence being in a three-way uh, relationship. And how Thandy turned into the Incredible Hulk, the Incredible Red Hulk, and started fighting Cola in the pool. So she was like, yeah, none of us went to the competition. And Candace was like, why didn't you go? You weren't fighting Thandy. And I was thinking like, that's a good point. Why didn't you go, Sana? Um, you weren't fighting Thandy. You were the thing one and thing two. So why didn't you guys go? And uh, I guess she felt like, you know, being close to her with her already being amped up. Like, she didn't feel comfortable being around Thandy, basically. So, that's why she didn't go. Bunch of BS. Again, I say you guys were wrong. Lawrence flew you guys out there to be supportive, and you guys ditched him. So, the only people that probably shouldn't have showed up was Cola and John John. And Thandy, actually. But, you know how that goes. So, Candace says she thinks that Lawrence is really in love with Thandy. And I'm like, ah, no, I don't see that. Lawrence just wants his cake and eat it too. He's not in love with nobody but himself. He's a narcissistic Beijing wearing bastard. So he don't, he don't, he ain't in love with neither one of them. I don't agree with that for one second. And Sana seems to be agreeing with her. Like, yeah, I guess he can talk more to Thandy and they have more of a, uh, intimate relationship as far as being able to communicate with each other where Anna's total opposite so I don't see it I think he just likes dipping in both of them to be honest but back to Miami um so Lawrence lets us know that D-Wade Sr. did find somebody um to invest into the Miami location so he surprises Anna and takes her to this spot and it's going to be the Miami location. She's all happy and excited and you know they're walking and looking around and the place is actually a decent spot. Um, it's big. It's definitely bigger than that shoebox in New York. So yeah it's nice nice size nice Miami vibe feel you know. I've never been there but from the movies I saw <laughs> it looks like a Miami spot. <laughs> But yeah, so they're standing there looking around. The broker shows up and Lawrence goes to sign the lease. And his second surprise is that Anna will also be signing the lease with him. So they are officially partners and they both own Miami Pink Tea Cup. And I'm like, you know what? I don't like Lawrence, but I think that it's good that he did that, that he gave the mother of his children a piece of the pie because that secures their future for sure. So good for him on that. Lawrence, I still think you ain't shit. And, but uh, good good job on that. But um, yeah, they signed the lease or whatever. And Anna was like, you know, this is a celebration. Let's have a party. Let's, you know, get this train started. 
let's get the buzz going, let's have a party. So Lawrence is like, cool. So they show them preparing for the party, and of course, single black female shows up, and she's helping them prepare, and I'm like, this is just the weirdest thing, again, with them being together. Um, super weird. Twins show up, and they tell Lawrence that they're sorry for bailing on him, bringing him a cigar. And, of course, Lawrence forgives them because, honestly, I feel like Lawrence does care about the twins. He does look at them like a little brother. So, little brothers. So, they made up. They were back to being their usual goofy selves. So, that's cool. They're at the party. Lawrence has a surprise for Anna, another one. This guy sings. I don't know who the hell he is. I've never heard of him. Maybe he's somebody famous in New York. I don't know. But... So he's singing, and they're singing along, having a good time, and then Lawrence stops to give a speech. So in um, the midst of him doing his speech, he says to Anna, you know, I've been taking the money that I had to invest into this relation, this uh, restaurant, and I can't have a, I don't have a ring right now, but I would like for you to marry me so he gets down on one knee and proposes and of course she says yes and I thought that the demons were gonna be summons from Thandy and rise up <laughs> and explode and start an earthquake and hell with a uh, fire was gonna rain down and I just knew the pits of hell was gonna bust wide open <laughs> Because I thought Thandie was going to really lose it. But she surprised me. She was pissed. Oh, yeah, she was pissed. But she left. I'm like, good. I'd rather her do that than to act a complete fool. She's already making a ass of herself enough. So no need to cause a scene. Just exit. <laughs> so he, um, they're, they're celebrating. And I'm like, I don't know about this, Anna. I don't know about... Lawrence really committing but hey if you want to take that chance be my guest <laughs> but back in Brooklyn so they're back Lawrence and the Anna Anna are all see I get them so mixed up because they're such a sister wife situation I get them mixed up between Anna and Thandy <laughs> but they're back and Anna and Lawrence are in the kitchen being playful and all that stuff and happy. Um, they noticed that their short staff, the hostess booth was empty, the bar was empty, the short staff hadn't seen Cola or Sana since they came back from Miami. So again, this shows the unprofessionalism that goes on in the pink teacup. So finally, Sana finally shows up and Anna was like, oh, I, you know, I thought you were done with Lawrence. And she was like, why would I be done? And she was explaining, you know, you left Miami, you didn't support them. Then you come in here late and we haven't heard from you. So she was like, basically, you're fired. She embarrassed her in front of the entire restaurant. Like everybody was looking like... <laughs> They always doing some bogus stuff in front of customers. I just never, I've never seen it. I've never been in a, a restaurant and witnessed stuff like this. I've witnessed unprofessionalism in a beauty salon, definitely, but not a restaurant like this. So she was like, oh, okay, cool. She walks out. So one of the twins come out and they're talking and she was like, you know, well, maybe I need to sleep with Lawrence because, you know, when you sleep with him, you keep your job. And I'm like, you know what? That's true. Because Thandie, you know, she's been acting a plum fool. She's fought and tore up his bar. She's been sleeping with the boss of somebody who's supposed... She was friends with Anna. Anna brought her in. She started sleeping with the boss. Like, she's batshit crazy. And she still has her job. But it's all because she's sleeping with Lawrence. And possibly Anna, too. So... <laughs> That's why. <laughs> but she was like, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I'll go somewhere else. So she left. Um, 
things have kind of been like in on a ride because they're short staff. Thandie's giving wrong orders and she's walking around with an attitude because she's mad that Lawrence is engaged to Anna. Um, finally, Cola shows up. And surprisingly, Anna wants her to stay. Anna really likes Cola. So she tells her, I want you to stay, but your boy, John John, is no longer uh, welcomed here. She hit him with the shiny O'Neal. Your services are no longer needed. So <laughs> he's gone. He can't come back. And it's all because what Anna said was John John instigated the fight instead of actually trying to break it up. So I kind of agree with that. But Anna, you should have been the one to let him know that his services were no longer needed since you're the general manager. Why are you telling her to tell him? That's very unprofessional. So it was the weirdest thing. She wants Cola to help uh, plan her bachelorette, I mean, her engagement party. And I'm like, you just met this girl. Why can't you have your friends? You don't have any sisters, a mother, a brother, cousin, uncles, nothing that can help plan your engagement party. So Cola says she's going to do it. And Lawrence wants her to be the bar manager in Miami. So she seems to be on board with that. So Lawrence starts up this mess again with trying to get Candace back because he just swears he needs her there so bad. Because I'm guessing there's nobody in New York that can bartend but Candace. So... Um, and it's always back to this, oh, we're family, you know, they trust her and all that stuff. So he wants to bring Candace back and then Anna, gosh, I cannot, I keep getting those two confused. Anna said if she apologizes, then they could possibly work something out. So he's going to try to talk to Candace and I'm like, again, going to try to bring her into their relationship. Yeah, so I knew Candace was going to worm her way back into the pink teacup because Lawrence, he just has to have it that way. He wants to be surrounded by all of the women that he's either banged or he's trying to bang. So she'll be back. Um, nothing important. Cola went and talked to John John, told him he was fired, and he had, he had the nerve to actually give her an ultimatum between him and working at the Pink Teacup. And she just paid him dust, basically, and left. Um, for them to have an open relationship, again, he's worried about Steph and asked her, was that the reason why she wanted to stay? And she was like, no, jackass. I'm trying to advance my career. Like, who cares about those stupid twins like ain't nobody checking for them I mean they're cute or whatever but they she ain't checking for him like that but anyway she leaves so later on Candace comes to the pink teacup to talk to them they talk and nobody wants to really woman up and apologize one is waiting for the other to say I'm sorry nobody's saying look you know regardless of what you say I'm apologizing for what I said. It shouldn't have been said, and I was wrong. So nobody wants to do that. So they get into an argument, basically, and Candace leaves. Again, it hasn't been resolved. <sighs> they're not going to get along. She's going to still find her way into that restaurant, but they're never going to get along. I just don't see it. So she leaves. Um, so Lawrence, it ends with Lawrence taking Anna to this uh horse and carriage ride having a date with her and they're having their champagne and they're talking about the future and all that and you know Lawrence is trying to get the courage to basically tell Anna that he accidentally had sex with Andy in Miami so they're riding and he finally gets the courage and of course she is um doing her usual theatrics even though we know she's not going nowhere but she did her usual theatrics and like you know how could you do this and whatever so <laughs> Lawrence gets out the carriage and he does this so oh, I'm sorry I cheated on my fiance I won't do it again I'm a one woman man and all this bull crap and all that so while he's out the carriage Anna throws the flowers that he gave her and tells the guy to speed off with the horses. So 
they're going down the street and he's trying to get her to stop so he can get back in. So that's where it left off. We're going to basically find out on the season finale if she's deciding to go ahead with the marriage or if she's going to leave him in the dust and just, I guess, be partners. Um, Because I know she ain't walking away from that, definitely. So, yeah, that's how it left off, y'all. And I forgot to, Cola and Thandy spoke um, and they apologized to each other. Cola Cola apologized for um, spreading a rumor or bringing up a rumor that was brought to her and putting her business out there. And Thandy apologized for turning into the Hulk and trying to beat her ass in the pool. So, <laughs> yeah, um, they both were wrong and they both should have apologized. So it is what it is. Um, I don't see that being the last fight either. I just, this show will forever have fights and nonsense going on as long as it's on. So that's it, y'all. Um, I will talk to you guys again soon. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. All right, guys. Thank you again for tuning in. And I shall talk to you guys again soon. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.